We're not lacking in organizations. We're lacking in an understanding of the spirit that should drive organizations. There are hundreds and thousands of Niger of organizations or institutions in this country. Of governance. Of governance, yes. But they don't function because we don't understand what their role really is. Their role is not just to be a platform for competition for Nigeria's resources among ethnic groups who is represented on the board of this bank, who is represented on the board of this uh, MDA. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who is the CEO? No. The first question is, why does this institution exist? Why is it necessary? What do we have to do to make it achieve its goals? Does the institution, even though it's a public institution, does it have good corporate governance? Or is it a dumping ground for political appointments from loyal party hacks? Once they get in there, the place cannot be run like a proper institution. And therefore, so it, it, will not, it becomes a tool for selfish agendas instead of a tool to serve the masses, the citizens of Nigeria. Number two, these institutions, these institutions must have the necessary independence from political interference if they are actually to achieve their purpose. Number three, do you have uh, key performance indicators for them? What is the measurement of their success? These things never happen in public institutions in Nigeria. You will see them in private companies, and that is why many of our private companies do better in spite of all the challenges we have. But there, many of them are able to thrive because the profit motive keeps many companies disciplined. And, but, yeah. and, it's, and it's a profit motive also for government. It's not a profit motive. It's a service delivery motive. And that is lacking because we have many politicians in Nigeria, but no leaders. Recycled, old, tired politicians with tunnel vision who don't, they're not interested in taking Nigeria to progress. They're interested in their equity in what I call the political industrial complex, which is the biggest business in Nigeria so today. Do, so do politics. you think these institutions or and these organizations yes. have now emasculate the fight against corruption or the institutions, organizations set up to fight corruption? You put it in your book, and version six is how to really, why do you put a really fight corruption? <laughs> What's your fight against the current fight or the fight against corruption? Yes, yes, yes. My fight against the current fight. I like that phrase is that we are not really fighting corruption. That's why I put the word really in it. We are playing political football with the fight against corruption. We are using the fight against corruption to advance partisan political interests. We want to look, make our party look legitimate because we want to say to Nigerians, they are corrupt. But who is they? Who, if you are talking from the APC standpoint, who is APC? APC is PDP, PDP is APC. There's no difference. So it's just a, the people are using the fight against corruption to advance their own narrow political agenda and delegitimize other political opponents. Whereas corruption is inside the APC and inside the PDP as well. So, and outside both? And outside both. And but, perhaps in other political parties? Possibly. So corruption is a Nigerian challenge. Here is how we will work in together, meet it in my presidency, the Kingsley Moral presidency. So what, how would you do it? Yes. The first thing about corruption is to address the value system challenge. The value system in this country has been exceedingly corroded. People don't know even a sense of what is right or wrong. What is wrong has become normal to us, and what is right has become strange. So if you're doing what is right, people think you're a bit funny. You know, so I will, as president, introduce the teaching of ethics in our schools, primary school and secondary schools. It's important that young people grow up knowing a sense of what is right or wrong. Also, it is very, very important that accountability for corruption should be impartial. I will start the fight against corruption inside my own government. 